Hey guys, so today we're going to make ricotta and spinach gnocchi from scratch. It's super easy to do and it's a fan favourite. It's a recipe I grew up making with my beautiful mum and it always pleases at dinner party. You can put them in the freezer and make them earlier and then just pop them in boiling water when you're ready to serve them and they taste amazing. So all I have here, real simple, is I'm going to use half a cup of flour, but you might need to adjust it based on how much moisture is in the actual spinach and the ricotta itself. I've got a quarter of a cup of cooked down spinach, it's probably 100 grams in total and I just mite it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds or until it goes really limp and then squeeze it between a cloth to make sure I remove all the moisture. So I've got two cups of ricotta which I've drained well and two whole egg yolks, a pinch of nutmeg, a pinch of salt and a quarter of a cup of parmesan. The first thing I'm going to do is mix my egg yolks with my ricotta just by hand which I have in here as well just until they're well incorporated. I mean, this one gets a little bit dirty. So if you don't like it dirty, it's probably not the dish for you, but we probably wouldn't get along either then. <laughs> Voila. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. And now it just looks like a dry cheese at this stage, which is perfect. So now I'm just gonna add my remaining ingredients. So I've got my spinach. I'm gonna use a quarter of a cup of parmesan and save some for the actual garnish. And then half a cup of flour. And then just see, if the, moist, if the mixture is still wet, I'm going to need to add some more, but we can just adjust it and play it up here. The thing with gnocchi is the flour is what makes it heavy. So if you're chasing those light fluffy pillows, you want to add as little flour as possible, and that's why you want a dry mix. Because if the mix isn't dry and you've got moisture in your ricotta or your spinach, you're going to need to substitute in more flour to get it dry, and it's going to make it heavier and dense. Right, now that the dough is holding, I mean, it is still moist, but it's sticking together, which is what I want. So from here, I'm just going to sprinkle some flour on my bench. This is just plain flour. And then cut this into two. And roll it out. I mean, it is going to be covered on flour on the outside, but that just ensures that it doesn't stick to the actual bench. I'm just going to work the dough and ensure that it separates. If you put quite a bit of spinach in there because you love the green like me, don't be scared if it starts to break apart a little bit. It's just the spinach tearing. And using your fingers, you're just gonna roll this into a big, long sausage. And then with a sharp knife, you're gonna dip your knife into some of the flour and then just chop them on angles. But I mean, this is honestly how easy it is. And it impresses people. So you've got your mother-in-law coming over for dinner and you want to spruce up your relationship with her by showing off your cooking skills. This is definitely something you can do. And now with your fork, this is what the waltz do. They dip the fork in a little bit of flour and press down. And voila, you have your little perfect gnocchi. And all the fork does is it leaves an indentation which allows the sauce to be, well, the sauce can cling on to the gnocchi that way. Ta-da, now that I've rolled out all the gnocchi and they're here on the board, they look like this. I mean, I've done them a little chunky because I like chunky gnocchi, but you can do them the way you like. And then from here, you can actually put them in the freezer and they freeze really well. And then you can just whip them out before a dinner party, place them in the boiling water, and when they rise to the top, they're ready to go. Otherwise, do what I'm doing and cook them straight away. They are amazing fresh. So I've got a pot of boiling water on the stove and I'm just gonna place my gnocchi in there and when they rise to the top, they're done. Anyone can do this, no excuses. Just gonna plop these in, one by one. You don't wanna overcrowd it too much. So while they cook, and they only take about one to two minutes, I've got my sauce on the side here ready to go and all I put in here is some sage and some butter. I mean, it's classical. And then I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of parmesan. And then as they float, I'm just removing them from the liquid. And you can set them aside, but I'm gonna put them straight into the sage butter sauce, just to brown them up a little bit. And guys, that's how easy it is. We now have our beautiful ricotta and spinach gnocchi. And to finish, I'm just gonna go and give it a little bit of parmesan. And it's ready to eat. 
I mean, it's super simple, it's a winning dish, and you can have it at your dinner party, you can have it midweek, whatever you like. I hope you enjoy. Hey boys, so today I'm going to teach you how to handle a sausage and stuff them. So, I'm making pork sausages, and it is super easy. 